Alright everybody, welcome back. Time to battle some. Okay. Found our first opponent. Oh, it's my old buddy Odin FK. Haven't seen him around for a while. He's like a magic semi pro that has been around forever. So we can expect some competition, and you can see that he hasn't been around for long by his Silver 2 status, because he is a Masters level player, for sure. Alright, this hand's a bit awkward, but gonna make the best of it. As soon as we like find th any like third power, we're fine, thanks to the Acolytes. Bit unfortunate we can't play Temple Scribe to help it out. But for now we gotta make do with what we have. Also we have an all Elysian hand here. This definitely helps, doesn't let us play Acolyte, but right can play Scribe and then Acolyte next turn, so that's fine. Not gonna miss out on anything. Like we're not missing a power drop still. Seems like he's probably on found control. Gonna catch some power. I totally wouldn't mind him backlashing that. But I guess we didn't get lucky. I mean, maybe it's just a removal for the Temple Scribe. Alright, get the second one. So all we need now is like... Uh, one more primer for the channel and then we have everything set up. And we have two ways to get that, so it's no big deal. And we also have 7 out of 8 for the channel, so that's good. Bear's favor, generating some good value. Alright, I think I'm probably just gonna play this and like double seek. So we can set up like chalice next turn. Plus activate. Alright, so <laughs> doesn't really matter what we pick. Just take one. <laughs> Get in for damage and pass. And we can start drawing some cards with the chalice. Alright. Up to Chalice, activate, and get in for 2 damage. That's like the point where it's gonna be really hard for him to do anything. I mean, I wish we had a silence for this to deny him the ultimate, but he's probably gonna be able to ultimate next turn. That helps him a bit to stay in it, I guess. That's unfortunate, but I mean, we have the defender to like draw some more cards with the trellis. Alright, gonna pass. This can hold off the 2-5. We can actually like channel the Bloodcaster if we want to, to deny him like the draw. I might do next turn if I don't have a better way of getting rid of it. Especially now that he has Island's favor. Yep, I think that's what's going to happen. No extra cards for you, sir. I mean, he probably has removal, no backlash, otherwise he wouldn't, like, think so long. The storm. A lot of cards, but a lot of useless cards. We get in for 6, try to raise this 
annoying Harbinger and overwhelm him with our chalices. But yeah, we're flooding out a bit here. There's the Desert Marshal I was hoping for. Alright, so play this. Draw cards. And like... <laughs> get in with these two and then just... Silence the Harbinger to deny him the life gain and... Start racing him. Think you can escape me? Suddenly the race is not looking as good for him anymore. Yeah, we'll happily take the three. Don't care. That's good. Should have done that the other way around though, so he keeps the 1-1. One -one. There was definitely lack of awareness on his part there. So yeah, we play this, draw some more cards. And then... Yes, we just play this, find our last power, and pass. It's a bit debatable, maybe I should have held on to this to like activate it right away and like wisdomed instead because like various favor and other removal. No. That was maybe suboptimal. This is a dead card now. Draw two. This, draw two more. Not a whole lot going on here. And now all we want like a Marisen's Disciple to sort of run away with the game. That's not too impressive. As we just sort of shoot this. Mainly because I want to draw cards <coughs> and get rid of this. The There's some stuff. It's written right here. Draw some more. I will just pass and discard. The seek and like whatever else. A lot of discarding going on there. But yeah, we are really far ahead now. <laughs> Which would you like? Uh, get the flyer. Um, and I think I'll just don't play the chalice here, rather just keep open, uh, leave open backlash. Yep. <coughs> that backlash also is gonna pop his face ages, which is good. Yep. There we go. And another one. Yes. Sort of just put it on here. Cards. Up another chalice. And get in. This is mostly a formality at this point. Especially with the second backlash, just like back up. I mean, he's dead on board with the backlash. Gonna try to remove the one, we backlash, and then he dies. Let's see if he has another annihilate. Seems like he might. But that's fine. Or on a lightning strike. 
He's still going down to two and we have like two attackers on board. Guess I'll just put this down to draw some more cards. That works. I'm gonna like hold this back because of maybe having like a third witch or whatever. That should do it. <coughs> yep. This matchup seems like it's heavily in favor of Chalice just because they don't really pressure you and the engine of Chalice just beats anything they do. So that's why this game felt very, very unscary. Alright, so next opponent. Alright, we found our next opponent. That's a clear redraw. Six power and Tempest is not an opening hand. It's not a great opening hand, but it's fine. Missing the second time again. As you can see, the time amount could still be higher, but you can't really justifiably raise the amount of power uh, of time. We're already at 14, 17, 21 basically. There we go. So. Since it doesn't really... Oh, it might actually matter. I'll go with the time sigil so we can marshal if we have to. And then next turn temple scraps. We don't have a 3 anyway. That doesn't really hurt. So... Like... Play this, play this, and pass. And now we have like everything set up, even the double justice. So all we need now is like 2 more primal for our tempest in the next four power sources, which is normally not a problem. That's like how the deck is set up. Not gonna block here with four power and a chalice in hand and not much else to do. You cannot put out the there we have a good desert marshal target for turn five. Because our turn five basically is going to be desert marshal and activate chalice, I think. Seems like this is mono time. Play seed and pass. Add, silence, block. A bit annoying because now our 1 5 can't stall the other one anymore. But I guess that's life. Alright, so here we just go for... Which would you like? Like... Ink the Scorpion? Maybe better the Locust? Yeah, Locust seems good. And then we can like immediately activate on the Locust. And the 3-3 three, three can hold off the 2-2. Two, two. And at worst we can trade our Disciple with the Dawnwalker, we'll see. I think here I'll actually just trade this with the Dawnwalker. Because the 4 4 is gonna hold off the 2 2 and this is still a chalice activation. Which it's is good. Right Another one, really. That starts to get really annoying. Really, really annoying. I thought I'll put out like? another one. Is that one? Now we have all the colors fixed. Guess we just pass. Hope to like stay alive. Stay in alive, stay in alive, stay in alive. Drawing triple dawn walkers really. I guess here we sort of just block one. So 
Type blocking bows is really problematic. I got blocked like this though. Take zero damage from it. It's okay if he kills this, then we can activate on this. And yeah, because he has like a fatty. Alright, so. Here we go for this. Vanquish this. And yeah. I really need to get this to 3 7. ASAP. annoying that I need to like throw away another guy because he has the second sauropod. These like million dawn walkers are really a problem if we don't find more desert marshals. Let's find desert marshals. That's not desert marshal. Close your eyes. Listen. This is really unfortunate. Let's see if this Ashwood can get us out of it. Maybe somehow. Nope, not really. Basically, just die. Yeah. That was brutal. Alright, last game for the first half. Okay, we found our last opponent against Keystone, a fellow Discord member. This is a bit of a slow hand, but it has some decent stuff going on. And it's not like we have any options after we draw, so... Gotta roll with the punches. Gonna start with the seed, so we have some options if we draw a sigil. Gonna hit our only unit. Interesting, main deck treachery. Gonna see what that's about. Hilfer, really? That is so weird. Another treachery. Guess I'm just gonna like backlash that to protect my disciple. Still no fourth power, that's unfortunate. Thanks, that Vanquish is gonna be so dead for him. Alright. Finally found power. And then we can like go ham with our chalice. And drop chalice first. So we can make sure we get activations out of our units. Really need that at this point. Good stuff. I think here uh, just gonna like wasp or cart. Fine. Fire. It's written right here. That is and pass the turn and now we're looking really good. Don't see how his deck is like gonna have a realistic shot at beating us at this point. Alright, so 
throw some more cards, get in for some damage, and finish him off basically, because he just dirtled around a bunch. And then he's just gonna get crushed by our chalice, as usual, as like most slower dirtly decks. Seems like he's running some random funny brew, nothing serious. Um, yeah, I'll just let this get in for some damage. He's probably gonna harsh roll at some point, but who cares? At this point, really. We can just finish him off with channel next turn. He doesn't wipe this. There's the hush roll. As expected, basically. It's written right here. Play scribe. Draw some more cards. Play another chalice and a power. And pass. Alright, so if this gets through, he just dies. It's not happening. That's cool though. Which would you like? Just play this. Draw some more cards. And pass. This is not necessarily the opponent I was hoping for at the end, but because this is not the most competitive of opponents. Um, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 7. Not quite enough, but this can draw a card, so that's cool. Like, shoot him some. Some more cards, draw power, and pass. And the second channel is like gonna just shoot him in the face. Yeah, if you if you're dirtling, you're not gonna beat Chalice. This deck is master of dirtle. It's really good at beating other slower decks, even Big Combre, which so far has been been like the king of the late game. But Chalice makes it look foolish. In that regard. Temper, huh? Interesting. Alright. Got it. 2-1 in the first half. Not the most typical uh, opposing archetypes, but that's what happens on ladder. There's a lot of diversity. Alright, that's it for the first half of the games. Three more games coming up in a moment, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for three more.